come on, please give me blue. Mom will disown me if I get red. Pink. What the hell is pink? Why are you wearing that shirt? Oh, because that's the color I was assigned. You need to go take it off right now. What? Why? You cannot be walking around wearing pink. Go put on blue instead. Okay, jeez. Is this better? Yeah, nobody will be able to tell now. Okay, good. Oh, Bailey, you got blue too? Um, yeah, I did. Why did you say it like that? You seem nervous. Like what? I'm not nervous. I heard that Martha got the color purple. Like what? <laughs> Purple? That's crazy. What does that mean? I don't know, but they said they're gonna kill anyone with a different color. They're gonna what? Um, yeah, you didn't know that? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I just hope that nobody got pink. That's the worst color of all. What did you say? If we don't leave now, he's gonna come out to kill you. Okay, let's go. Shouldn't we, like, call the police on him, though? No, that's what I did, and in the future, they never got him. I'm gonna save you from all of this. I'll be right back. How are you gonna save me? I'm gonna kill him so that you can have a normal life. What? Isn't that a bad idea? Of course not. It'll be fine. Okay, I did it. It's done. That was so fast. I have to go back to the future now. Bye. You're just gonna leave? I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't get home right now. She just killed someone and wants me to go get a Red Bull? Fine, whatever. There she is. Excuse me. Is your name Bailey? Yes. You're under arrest for the murder of your recent boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, I didn't do that. This videotape is showing you committing the crime. That's not me. The, uh, you have the right to remain silent. You'll be coming to the station with us. Today I'm gonna be picking out my outfit with a blindfold on. We have moved to the inside of my closet and I'm just gonna blindfold myself. I don't even know where I'm going. We're just gonna reach this one. I feel like I should look. Okay, we might as well pick out a coat too. What's this? Oh, I actually really like this jacket. Now on the floor, and whatever the first shoes I touch are, I'm gonna wear them. Okay. Ah! This is my skirt drawer, honestly. I, oh, I'm just gonna dig through here. I'm gonna go for the bottom ones because I don't even know what's down there. What am I holding on to? Okay. Hello? Let's just try on the full fit and see what it looks like. Are we ready for the final fit? Because I don't know if you can handle all this. Upon putting this top on, I realize that it's actually broken. <laughs> this is kind of a moment. And then we just lift the light. Mm, put it back down. Put it back down. Rate my outfit 1 to 10 in the comments. <laughs> hey, whoa. Are you okay? No, dude. He broke up with me over the phone. I am so sorry. He does not deserve you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking selfies. But you were just sobbing like three minutes ago. Nah, I'm over it. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago, I had wispy bangs. My intrusive thoughts are getting to me right now, and I kinda want them back. So come with me to cut my hair and potentially fuck it up. I'm gonna do very small sections because you can always cut more hair off. Unfortunately, you cannot put it back. This feels like too much, even though it's like four strands of hair. Okay, I think this is good. <laughs> You know what? We don't have time to be a baby. I'm gonna cut it short first. Oh, <laughs> I already like it. It's not even short enough, but it's cute. I almost forgot to film myself cutting more. Okay, I hope that wasn't too much. That might have been a little short. <laughs> no way, actually, I'm crying. It's not that bad, right? <laughs> okay, I think I'm just dramatic. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Honestly, I should have left them long. Next video is gonna be me selling this hair on eBay so that I can buy a wig to cover this. Please be a long time. I really wanna stare at Josh in fourth period. What? What am I supposed to do if I can't see the whole day? Hey, what do you think of this shirt I'm wearing? Uh, nothing, since I only got four minutes to see today. Um, Bailey, I'm to your right. Oh. Am I gonna have to drive to school today? No, bitch, I'll drive. You can't see. Right. <laughs> um, you're in my seat. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. You're not even looking at me. Shouldn't you check before you sit down? I literally can't see anything. Well, then feel around or something. I don't know. Damn. Don't worry, Stacy. This will teach her. Who did that? Y'all are assholes. She did not deserve that. Thank you. I'm over here. 
Sorry. Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, you're really beautiful. Please be something cool. Earphones. I wonder what's ability this is gonna be. I guess I should try them out. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. I have to tell her she's adopted. Did you just say I'm adopted? No, I didn't say that, honey. What do you mean? I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. I'm just friends with her so I can hook up with her boyfriend. You know what? This friendship is over. What? Is it something I said? I think these give me the ability to know what people are thinking. Sweet. Giselle, you're failing this class. You got an F on your test. Well, Mr. Fitz, is there anything I could do for extra credit? Oh, she could suck on my... You know what? I'm fine with failing. This is both a blessing and a curse. What object am I getting today? A pair of glasses? What kind of ability is that? I guess I should try them on. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. Wait, you used to be a stripper? How do you know that? Don't judge me. No, I'm not. I'm going to school. No way, these tell me people's darkest secrets. Hey, Giselle. You slept with my dad? What? No. Don't ever talk to me again. Since when do you wear glasses? Since this morning. You know, you should really stop crushing on teachers. What? Giselle, come on, please just go out with me. Tyler, for the tenth time, no. Oh, shit. I can finally see my parents' bank account. Although I don't expect them to make much, we can barely afford the house we live in. What? My parents are millionaires? That means they can buy me my new phone. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. What's up, sweetie? Um, can you guys please buy me the new iPhone? The new iPhone? <laughs> are you crazy? But why? There's no way we can afford that. Hey, Giselle. What's wrong? Is it possible for the system to show you the wrong amount of what your parents make? No, the system is always accurate. Why do you ask? Well, because it says my parents are millionaires, and they can't even buy me a new phone. We also can barely afford the house we live in. I think you need to talk with them about it. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Tell me what? Sweetie, you're adopted. I'm adopted? Are you serious? Honey, we wanted to tell you. I can't believe you guys were keeping this from me this long. I have to go. Hey, Jessica. Can I please come sleep over at your house? I'm having some family issues. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. Your family has a really nice house. I don't think I've ever met your parents before. They're usually gone for business trips. Jessica, come downstairs. They're back. Let's go say hi. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Ms. Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Ms. Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Jessica, can I talk to you alone for a second? Is that okay, Giselle? Yeah, okay. Hey, I'm back. Oh, you're done talking to your parents? What did they say? They think you're their long-lost daughter. Crazy, right? Um, no. Actually, it's not crazy. My parents told me this morning that I'm adopted. Really? We need to go tell my parents right away. Mom, Dad, Giselle has something to tell you. My parents told me this morning that I was adopted. So you guys may be my biological parents. We need to go take a test to be sure. Yeah, let's go. The DNA test results just came back. Giselle, you are.
say, whoa, are you okay? No, dude, he broke up with me over the phone. I am so sorry. He does not deserve you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking selfies. But you were just sobbing like three minutes ago. Nah, I'm over it. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago I had wispy bangs. My intrusive thoughts are getting to me right now and I kind of want them back. So come with me to cut my hair and potentially fuck it up. I'm gonna do very small sections because you can always cut more hair off. Unfortunately, you cannot put it back. This feels like too much, even though it's like four strands of hair. Okay, I think this is good. <laughs> you know what? We don't have time to be a baby. I'm gonna cut it short first. Oh, <laughs> I already like it. It's not even short enough, but it's cute. I almost forgot to film myself cutting more. Okay, I hope that wasn't too much. That might have been a little short. <laughs> no way, actually, I'm crying. It's not that bad, right? <laughs> okay, I think I'm just dramatic. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Honestly, I should have left them long. The next video is gonna be me selling this hair on eBay so that I can buy a wig to cover this. Please be a long time. I really wanna stare at Josh in fourth period. What? What am I supposed to do if I can't see the whole day? Hey, what do you think of this shirt I'm wearing? Uh, nothing, since I only got four minutes to see today. Um, Bailey, I'm to your right. Oh. Am I gonna have to drive to school today? No, bitch, I'll drive. You can't see. Right. <laughs> um, you're in my seat. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. You're not even looking at me. Shouldn't you check before you sit down? I literally can't see anything. Well then, feel around or something. I don't know. Damn. Don't worry, Stacy. This will teach her. Who did that? Y'all are assholes. She did not deserve that. Thank you. I'm over here. Sorry. Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, you're really beautiful. Hey, is this biology? Uh, yeah, it is. Then why is nobody else in here? Oh, someone stabbed the teacher and nobody really comes to class anyways. Okay. Do you want to take a sip of this? What is it? Uh, it's red wine and a bunch of stuff I found in my dad's closet. It's 8 a.m. on a Wednesday. When you guys talk, I see rainbows coming out of your mouth like a unicorn. I think we need to call the nurse. We don't have a nurse anymore. She got scared and quit. What kind of school doesn't have a nurse? Don't look now, but it's Nate Jacobs. Him and Maddie are fighting again. That kid's in high school. He looks like he's 27. That girl is not wearing clothes. Do you guys even have like a dress code? No, nah, last time they enforced that, a teacher got bitten. Mm. Do you want a hit of this? Are you smoking inside? <sighs> yeah, do you want some or not? I'm good, thank you. You guys have probably figured out by now, I am obsessed with music, it brings me to life. Which is why you can join me live on Tidal on April 4th using their new live session feature. You can listen to my top 10 tracks that prove romance is dead. I cannot wait to share these with you all, so make sure you join the live session. Happy 18th birthday, sweetheart. Thanks, so I've been meaning to ask. Since I'm old now, can't I go outside? No, you are not allowed to go outside. But mom, enough with this nonsense. You are not going outside. Okay. And remember, you have to heal me when I come back from work, okay? I know, I do it every day. Can everyone else heal people too? Uh, of course they can, it's not just you. Well then why don't you heal yourself? Uh, it doesn't work, I have to get going, see you later. Who's there? Hey, uh, don't panic, but... Ah! Damn, you can punch kind of hard, Blondie. And I'll do it again. Who are you? I was running away from some bad people, and I just needed somewhere to go. I'm sorry. I'll let you escape under one condition. Uh, okay, anything, anything. I have to come with you. I'm not surprised. He never sends me anything. Open up the champagne. Hey guys, my soulmate just sent me $200, while well, mine sent 10000 10000 That's crazy. How much did yours send? You didn't send me anything. Wow, must suck to be you. Whatever. You wanna come shopping with us after school? Oh wait, she can't cause she's poor. At least I'm not money hungry like you guys. You're just saying that cause you're jealous. I guess the least you could do is send me 10 bucks so I could get my nails done. What? 
Girl, I have something to tell you, but you can't tell anyone. What is it? My soulmate just sent me one million dollars. I think I know who it is. I think I know who it is. Girl, spit it out. You know that famous singer Alex? Yeah. He said in an interview that he sent his soulmate one million. Please, there's no way. It makes perfect sense. No, it's probably just a coincidence. Pages out, guess what? If this is about my soulmate, you can stop. He's playing a concert here tonight. We have to go. You're not going to let this go, are you? You know me too well. Fine, if I go, will you shut up about it? If you go, I'll never say a word about it again. Fine, I'll go. Okay, we're here. Now what? Ladies and gents, before the concert starts, I would just like to donate $2 million to my soulmate. Olivia? Yeah? My mouth just went up. Ladies and gents, before the concert starts, I would just like to donate $2 million to my soulmate. Olivia? Yeah? My amount just went up. See, I told you it's him. I knew it. Well, what do we do now? We have to see him after the concert, of course. How are we going to do that? We don't have the passes. Just leave that to me. Let's go. Hi, ladies. Can I help you? Um, yes. We would like to see Alex. Can I please see your VIP passes? We don't have any. Excuse me, sir. I know Alex personally. Why, of course. Right this way. Just got us in. One of my many talents. He's coming. Well, go talk to him. Good evening, miss. Would you like an autograph? Actually, no. I think you might be my soulmate. What? And why is that? Good evening, miss. Would you like an autograph? Actually, no. I think you might be my soulmate. What? Why is that? Well, when you donated two million to your soulmate, my amount went up. And how many did you have in your account prior? A million. Then it's definitely possible. Come with me. Where even are we? We're going to check if we're soulmates. Put your hand on the scanner. Okay. Mine says soulmate found. Mine does too. Wait, we're getting something else. There's another match. Wait, what does that mean? That means you have two soulmates. This is ridiculous. You can only have one soulmate, not two. Well, that's what the system says. Alex, this is not the time to be sending me money. I didn't send you anything. What? I do have to. Disappear and stay? What does this mean? It's a new form of population control. People can vote for you to disappear or stay. Why do you look worried? Well, Dad, because I haven't exactly been nice to people. Everyone's going to vote for me to disappear. Oh, honey, it's going to be okay. Just try to apologize. Looks like it's finally payback time for you making fun of me all these years. I understand. I'm sorry. Hey, Giselle, remember that time you cut my ponytail off? Jessica, that was in middle school. Can't we just forget about that? Actually, we can't. You never even said you're sorry. I'm sorry. Giselle? Jake, hi. Remember that time you cheated on me? Look, I told you I was sorry. If I could take it back, I would. Well, you can't, so... Hey, um, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... Hey, uh, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... You voted for me to stay. Why? You're always mean to me, but I don't think anyone deserves to disappear. Thank you. I promise I'll try to change. Guys, look at him. He's such a loser. Hey, leave him alone. Look who's talking. You're a big bully yourself. Yeah, well, I'm trying to change. <laughs> you could never change. Shit, I forgot my pen. Hey, you could borrow mine. Wait, really? Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. I think it'll be better for you to just disappear. Mom, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here.
Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. And I think it'll be better if you just disappear. Mom, no, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. What's going on here? Dad, Mom voted for me to disappear. Is this true? Yes, she's just a waste of space. You know what, Giselle, just come with me. Dad, what's going on? It's time I tell you the truth. She's not your real mom. Are you serious? Yes, I'm sorry. I never knew she would treat you like this. You lied to me my whole life. I only need one more vote to disappear, so I'm going to go find someone to give me that. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. No, I said vote for me to disappear, not stay. But I did vote for you to disappear. What? You must be the one. The one? What do you mean, the one? I can't tell you here. Come with me. Can we stop running and you just tell me what's going on? There's a rumor that there's a person that's unable to disappear no matter how many votes they get. And I think it's you. <laughs> me? Why would it be me? Because when I voted for you to disappear, it went to stay. People are going to come looking for you. You guys, there they are. They found us. We have to go. Okay, I think we're safe here. What are we going to do? I haven't been completely honest with you. There isn't only one person unable to disappear. There's two, and I'm one of them. So you're one too? Yes, and here's what we need to do. Just the bread? That'll be a hundred words. Please, I'm so hungry. No words, no food. That's the rule. I'll buy it for her. You don't have many words, do you? Here. It's infinity words. You'll never have to go hungry again. Buy this for me. And this one for me. Hey! Come on, you have endless words and we're meeting the prince today. Don't be so selfish. It's the least you can do after we let you into our family. That'll be 5,000 words. I was thinking lobster for dinner. Oh, and steak. You guys are just using me. The prince is coming soon. How do I look? Oh no, my words are getting low. Come on, I need a refill. What's taking so long? You literally have infinity words. Did I just hear you have infinity words? Do you know what this means? You're the long-lost princess. What? what? There's no way a loser like her is the princess. Yeah, and before she never even... Silence. If she has infinity wards, that means she is the princess. Come with me, love. We'll have a crowning ceremony tonight. Here you'll have tons of ravishing dresses to choose from. Wow, you look just like a princess in your new dress. Where's the prince? You and the prince may not see each other until the crowning ceremony is over. I now crown you- Wait. I can't accept the crown. Why not? Because I'm not the princess. Am I a hunter? Or am I a prey? What? What does purple represent? I don't know. It has to be some kind of mistake. Well, I hope you're not a prey. I don't want to have to hunt you. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya. Ah! Excuse me, there's no hunting praise during class. Fine. Hey you, what kind of mark is purple? Attention everyone, please come to the main lobby immediately for your color check. I'm nervous. I have friends who are both hunters and praise. I don't want us to turn against each other. It's no big deal. You should be with your own kind anyways. Next. The purple mark. We've been looking for you. Come with me immediately. What am I? Am I a hunter or am I a prey? You're a mediator. Mediator? The mediators are meant to bring balance and harmony between the hunters and the preys. I didn't think they were real until I saw you. Get over here, you prey. Help me! Hey, stop that. Oh, what even are you? I'm a mediator, so just... Go to class. You have one special ability that no one else has. You have the ability to change their mark. Praise into hunters and hunters into praise. I'm a hunter. It's what I do. You're a hunter? What? I'm a prey? I was so sure it was red. Dude, I'm so sorry I tried to hunt you.
please don't be my bank account. I really don't even see how broke I am. My hand? Wait, which one? Oh, okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. I don't know what to wear. Okay, very funny genius, but I have class today, so no. Oh, actually, this could work. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was pretty cute, so I guess I won't be mad at him, but he owes me a new lipstick. Does anyone know the answer to letter A? Yes. Um, 22, correct. Good job. Hey, beautiful. What do you say you come with me? Don't be scared. Come on. <laughs> I just knocked somebody out. Or, I guess you did. Okay, yeah, I should probably go. Morning. I just wanted to say thank you for protecting me like that yesterday. So, I guess you can hear and see everything that I do? Well, guess I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> hey, would you stop that? Hey, Mia. Hi. I, uh, I like your dress. Oh, thanks. Can I have your snap? Yeah, sure, it's... Are you... are you good? Yeah, sorry about that. Why don't I just add you? Okay, my username is... What the... Actually, never mind. That was so embarrassing. Moo! Ow! Oh, I barely even pushed... <gasps> I am so sorry. Do you know how much this outfit was? No. Of course you don't, you idiot. Did you just- No, I- Zip it! You are gonna pay for my dry cleaning! Why are you so aggressive? I'm just trying to look out for you. Well, please tone it down, because you're gonna get me in trouble. On my way! We're gonna party hard tonight! I am so excited. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come on, girl, let's go! Um, <laughs> let go of the door. I can't. Oh, I see what you're doing. No, I'm being serious. My soulmate, he's... Save it. You should have told me you didn't want to come. No, Sarah, wait. Thanks for wasting my gas. You know, I thought I asked you to tone it down. I don't need you to be acting like a, a parent to me. This is getting really annoying. When do I get to control him? Want to switch and control your soulmate? Yes. You will control your soulmate's hand with your mind. You will now be able to see and hear everything your soulmate does. Some things will be censored for privacy reasons. Oh, that's a relief. Are you ready to switch now? Yes. She's in control of me now? Great. Just don't do anything dirty. <gasps> ah! Gee, I was just kidding. Oh, this is so fun. Ready for the concert? I sure am. Who is she? Oh, no, he doesn't. Whoa! You good? No, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Chill, this is my sister. Whoops. Damn, and I thought I was overprotective. Sorry, I guess we both kind of are. <sighs> Why am I on a beach? I must have gone too hard last night if I don't even remember where I'm at. That guy over there is like not moving. I should probably check if he's okay. Hello, sir, are you okay? Dude, yo, maybe he'll wake up if I slap him. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of water. Are you okay? You, you just saved my life. Oh, no, I was just walking by. Was that a mermaid? Forget about that. I'm in love with you. You've saved me. <clears throat> I was not supposed to find you. What? What are you talking about? Nothing. You have to come meet my father. I can show him I finally found a wife. I'm sorry, wife? I'm Prince Eric and I would love for you to be my princess. <laughs> I can't get married to you. What? You have to marry me. That's how the story goes. Oh, there you are. Good morning, dork. I am not a dork. Whatever you say. Hey, do you think my new haircut looks dumb? I don't like it. I think it looks really good. Right, you have to say that because you're my best friend. That's not true. You look great. 
Did you hear that we're getting a new student too? Yeah, we haven't had a new student in so long. <laughs> I know, I wonder who it's gonna be. Class, everyone meet Macy. Whoa, she's so pretty. Yeah, I, I guess so. Hey Macy, you should come over here. Take a seat next to us. Hi guys. Uh, my name's Jason and this is Bailey. Nice to meet you. You should come sit with us at lunch. Would that be okay? Yeah, for sure. Good morning. Uh, you didn't leave a seat open for me. Oh, my bad. I kind of forgot. I'll see you at lunch then. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Macy, what were you saying? Girl, you better tell him that you love him. I don't love him. Are you sure about that? I dropped this. Oh, thank you. I don't even own a TV. Whatever, I guess I'll just throw this away. What is this? I guess the only way to find out is to push one. Now I just have to figure out what that exactly caused. Why did all those people freeze at the exact same time? Does this pause time? Oh, I'm gonna get some good use out of this. Everyone, please put your phones away for the test. I forgot about I know what to do. Just gonna steal the answer key real quick. Don't mind me, sorry. Play. You may now begin. You have one hour. Hey, uh, can I talk to you? What's up, babe? Yeah, so I'm sorry, but I have to break up with you. What? Mm, just one second. Hey, babe. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? I'm breaking up with you. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Bye. Oh, wow. Are you trying something new with your hair? No. What do you mean? Look at yourself. <gasps> what happened to my hair? Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. It looks like a bird's nest. Looks like you have some pink strands of hair now, too. Apparently. I guess it could have been worse. It could have been country. I fell in love with an emo girl. All I want is... Very funny. You know, you kind of look like Machine Gun mm. Kelly, too. Thanks. Why do you look like Hot Topic threw up on you? Guys, okay, it wasn't me. It was my soulmate. I don't want to dress like this. You know, maybe you should. It kind of suits you. Maybe your soulmate just has a crush on Avril Lavigne. That's fair. Me too. Or they might be like a super famous rock star. I really doubt that, but it would be super cool. Guys, is that who I think it is? Looks like your rock star isn't that far away after all. Get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm gonna go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option? My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's gonna adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry, kid. No, I'm not married. That's okay. I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning. You look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you- They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But- Hush, follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're 16, not 6. Now hand that thing over. No. What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant. She's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go. <gasps> no. Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger. Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline. Look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Want to do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Get here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me. And that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. All right, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry if I'm too much of a distraction for you.
kid, you're not a distraction. In fact, I think you're exactly what I needed in my life. Okay, you rest now, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sir, the paparazzi got you at the science museum today, and so many articles have been written- I don't care about the articles anymore. What? Shh, I'm not gonna use a kid to get me more publicity. The plan's off. But sir, guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. And I know just what to do. I found someone from your real family. You did? Yes, dear, your Uncle Nick. I don't remember an Uncle Nick. He'll explain everything, darling. He's here. So you're her mom's brother? Yeah. How did you find me? You're all over the news. I know you probably don't recognize me. Your mom didn't really talk about me much, but I'd like to adopt you. I'm happy here with Mr. Knight. Madeline, don't be rude. At least give him a chance. I don't want to push anything, so how about you live with me for a week, and if you don't like it, I'll bring you right back here. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. You call me on this phone if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you. Of course. Come here, kid. I bought you some candy. Susan tells me it's your favorite. Thanks. We'll be at my place soon. Is it good? Why do you have that stuffed animal? Oh, uh, one of my best friends from foster care gave it to me. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. All right, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is gonna find me. He's not gonna look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of- What do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not going to get away with this. Mr. Knight is going to find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that... Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline. But I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So, you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you. Dad. Madeline, I... I love you too. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, uh, nothing. You are a terrible liar. You know you can't go outside until you turn 21. But why? I'm 18, isn't that close enough? No, you're not going outside. I need to know what's out there. I'm going to work. Don't try anything while I'm gone. Okay, see you later. Why is there nothing good on Netflix right now? Who's there? That's definitely not my mom. Bailey, honey, listen to me. There's somebody inside the house. I saw it on the cameras. You have to leave now. But I can't go outside. It's just this one time. The police are on the way to save you right now. What do you mean they'll save me? Okay, this is it. I'm going out the window. Wow. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, you can't touch anything. Why not? You can only touch three things today. I don't understand what the big deal is. You have to save them in case of an emergency, okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. You can only touch your own body or things you're already wearing. I know. Everyone take out your textbooks and open to page three. I can't. You can't touch anything again today, Bailey? Just how it is, I'm sorry. You can follow along with what we're doing on the board. Hey, do you think you can hand me a pencil by any chance? No, uh, I'm sorry. Why not? I can see that you can touch three things. Just use one of them. No, I'm sorry. Just ask someone else. I want you to do it. Wait, what are you doing? 
Let go of me. Look, it's not that hard. Bitch, did you just slap me? Yes. You're gonna regret doing that. Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't want to choose the reason that I die. You have to. We all do. Well, it's definitely not going to be by drowning. I'm going to pick the most painless one that I can. Weekend one of Coachella is sadly over, so I'm going to rate all the outfits that I wore this year. Okay, this was my day one outfit. I'm obsessed with it. It's giving 2000s Avril Lavigne. The only thing I would have changed about this is I wish the short was like ever so slightly shorter. But the Converse were a smart pick because last year I wore heels and I learned my damn lesson. I'm gonna give this one like a 7 out of 10. Day 2, oh! I was dying over this and everyone else was also dying over this. It's giving bitch on the back of the motorcycle that you could never stop thinking about when you see her. This is a 10 out of 10. I would have not changed anything about this look at all. It was perfect. This is day 3 and it was really really cute but so impractical. I had to fully tape the top to my body because it would not stay where it was supposed to be. The skirt was also falling. You can see my underwear in this pic. But regardless, it was iconic. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. The fringe gloves, oh. I'm so sad that Coachella is over, but I'm also glad that I had a redemption arc from whatever my outfits were last year. Everyone and their mother is freaking out over this bold glam filter, so we're gonna try to recreate it. Jump scare. I have some things, so let's do it. Going in with a blurring primer because I did not have a single pore with that filter on. In case any of my pores are left, I'm gonna use a blurring BB cream too. This concealer is literally white because we wanna lift and snatch the face. I am built like an egg, but this filter gave me cheekbones. I want a little baby button nose. I was about to use this. What happened? Did anyone else go follow Selena Gomez after all the drama? My brows are already dark, but this filter made them even darker. That's definitely aggressive. Why do I look like a who? Shine bright like a diamond. I really don't want to do this, but it's time to overline my lips. I already have lip filler, so this is a lot. It's giving fish from fishtails. Spot the difference. Okay, final reveal. This is me with the filter on, and here's me with the filter off. It looks even crazier because I already have a full face of makeup on. How do you guys think I did? Let me know in the comments. There are so many different kinds of people that go to Coachella. First, you got the people who somehow have everything in their bag. Oh, I think my foundation's messed up. Oh, your makeup's coming off? I have a mirror. We got oil wipes. I have liquid IV in case you're thirsty, a lip gloss. I also have a fan and some hair clips. Then you got the people who will take any opportunity they get to take a photo. Could you take a photo of me right now? The light is so good. Yeah, I guess. Slay, get it. Okay, were those cute? Um, sure. Okay, let's go over there and take some more too. Then you also have that friend who kind of can't hang but will rally for their favorite artist. Are you sure you're okay? We don't have to stay. Yeah, I'm fine. I have to watch Blink-182. You are incredibly determined. What kind of person would you be at Coachella? Hold my drink. Okay. I gotta use the bathroom. Thanks for holding this. Of course. This is good, babe. Mm, I thought you might like it. What's it called? It's called, uh, Taken by Surprise. Why is it called that? That's why. Just one more kill and you're rid of me. You're gonna miss me, aren't you? You wish. Well, tomorrow's assignment is no joke. Go get some sleep. You're gonna need it. He's actually kind of cute. Damn it, stop it. No attachments. This is for your freedom. So you're telling me that this guy's a billionaire? Yes, and he's got two bodyguards. So you gotta work your charm and get him alone. Then you're gonna give him some of this. It looks like water, but if he drinks it, bam, he's dead. Think you can handle it? If it means I never have to see your face again, then yes. Hey. Hey. What's your name? My name is, <clears throat> uh... Are you always this articulate? <laughs> uh, Brett, sorry. My name's Brett. And that's why I hate snakes. <laughs> so, are those big strong men over there your bodyguards? Yeah, I have them for my protection. Oh. Is, uh, is something wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just, I wish we could go somewhere a little more alone. This better? Yes, but uh, do you think you could get me some water? Yeah, one sec. Cheers to uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! To uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! What? Your drink, it, it has a bug in it. No, don't! And that ruined my carpet? You'll, you'll thank me later. It's alright, I've been meaning to redo this place anyways. So you've been single for a while now. Yeah. Huh. 
You know, for me, it's always been kind of hard to stay alone. Sometimes it's better to be alone. No one can hurt you. Hey, listen, I, I get why you feel like that. But I want you to know, I'm not that type of guy. We should stop this before I... So you're telling me he's not dead? I am done working for you. No, no, sweetheart. We had a deal. You remember the obedience necklace, right? <laughs> Don't make me use it. So tomorrow, no security, just you and me. That sounds great. I'll... I'll see you then. Good job. And tomorrow, you get that kill count up to 50. Hey. Hi. Remember, I'm watching you. You okay? Yeah, uh, do you think you could just get me some water? Yeah, of course. Okay, when he comes back, you know what to do. Got your... Natasha, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do this. I don't have a choice. You have five seconds to take the shot. I don't know who's making you do this, but you always have a choice. Do it! Three, two, one. No! Run. Ugh. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Say goodbye to your freedom and your little boyfriend. Wait! How could you? You wanted 50 kills? Ugh. Well, you got it. Security! Let's see those hands! If they need to arrest me, I understand. Actually, I work for the CIA, and if you're willing to come work with us, we'll drop all the charges. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, I would like that. Thank you, Brett. You saved my life. I'll never forget. Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember, mine was just that I couldn't eat candy, and after you kiss your soulmate, your curse goes away. So, once you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. I miss her. Me too. <gasps> you can't tell anyone about your curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. Shake my hand, don't just stand there. She needs to learn manners. This is my daughter Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. You should just give it to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You're going on a business trip for five months? You'll be fine. No, you cannot leave me alone with these two bi- Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Uh. Okay, let it go. Look, by the time I come back, you'll probably have met your soulmate and your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I... I haven't. I think my soulmate's the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So, what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally, just say it. My gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> hmm. Pat your shoulder. Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on, you're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk. And hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate and he can break my curse. What? How do you know the prince is your soulmate? Tell us. We know you can't resist. Someone told me to go find my soulmate, and after they said that, I went straight to the prince and held his hand. And what exactly did he say to you? He told me he wanted to see me again, but then his guards came and they didn't let me talk to him anymore. Of course they wouldn't let you talk to him. You're a peasant and he's a prince. Mother, you told me the prince was my soulmate. He's supposed to kiss me and break my curse, not hers. Remember, she has to do everything she's told. So we'll just tell her. You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. No. Alina, get the door. Alina. Your Highness. I just had to see you again. I had my guards find out where you live. Listen, I need your help with my curse. My stepmother, she's controlling- Your Highness. Hi. Ignore her. She's our maid. You're not their maid, right? Of course she is. Tell him you're our maid. I'm their maid. Listen, I need to speak to Alina alone. But your Highness. You heard the prince, stepmother. He wants to speak to me alone. Of course. Just don't listen to a word he tells you. So you need help breaking your curse. What? Alina, listen to me. 
You need me to break your curse. Right, yes, my curse. You still haven't told me what it is. But it doesn't matter, because I'm almost positive I'm your soulmate. So, I should just... You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. Okay, well, that... Quite that hurt. I'm so sorry. You don't want me to kiss you? No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that I wasn't allowed to... Look, it's alright. Maybe we just aren't soulmates after all. Maybe we're not soulmates. No, your highness, wait. My curse, it's... You can't tell anyone about your curse. It's what? I can't tell you unless you tell me to say it. I'm such an idiot. Your curse, it's to do everything you're told, isn't it? Yes. Wait, but then why did you slap me? You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. You have to tell me to kiss you. Oh, okay. Well then, um... Oh. Stepmother, you just knocked out the prince! Yes, I did. And with any luck, he'll wake up with amnesia and forget all about you. You can't do that. Yes, I can. And you both are getting locked down here. Go to sleep. No. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, Alina? Alina, wake up. Hey. Alina. Kiss me. Tell me to do something. Uh, jump up and down. Hey. It worked. I'm free. Yes, we're soulmates. Your Highness, we received your distress signal. Let go of us, you fools! Alina, attack the guards! Yeah, that's not gonna work anymore. <gasps> no, you kissed the prince? Yeah, I did, and it was really nice. Also, I'll <gasps> be taking this back. You know I loved you, right, Alina? Goodbye, stepmother. Wait, no! Sorry, ladies, Alina is making her own choices now.